Hello. Uh, I will shortly be sharing my uh, thoughts on the Fantastic Beasts, the uh, Secrets of Dumbledore trailer that was released this morning. Um, first, uh, though, I, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, share that this exists, as I often do when I'm not reading a book. Um, this is my book, uh, my novel, Cupid Takes a Holiday. Uh, and even though Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day has come and gone, Thanksgiving has too, but Valentine's Day is the Cupid holiday. And uh, Valentine's Day has come and gone, but it's always seasonal to read a good book. So you can get this one on Amazon at the link below. Uh, the paperback, which is what I'm holding, is $9.99. Uh, you can get it on Kindle for $4.99, or uh, if you have Kindle Unlimited, it's free, and you can just read it. And I, you know, I like—I would like to get—I uh, like to get money for things, but I would also appreciate just knowing that it's being read, uh, that there is some interest in it. So show some interest, in it, and then you can leave a review or something, um, uh, you know, and which maybe gets other people to actually buy it. Uh, but anyway, Cupid takes a holiday. Fantastic Beasts: The Secrets of Dumbledore. The, uh, I went back and I uh, clicked through my uh, video about the first Secrets of Dumbledore trailer, and it uh, turns out I didn't like it, which I kind of remembered that I didn't like it because I have watched it uh, a couple of times since then, and I haven't liked it those times either. Um, as, the, as the audience member, uh, I don't have to know, in fact, I shouldn't know where uh, a story is going. Uh, that I am watching unfold, but I should have some sense that it's going somewhere, that it knows where it's going. And uh, that trailer did not give me that sense, and this trailer gave me that sense a little bit more, But uh, and I am still looking forward to it, but not on the strength of the trailer. Uh, so I'm going to uh, click through the trailer now, and I'm going to uh, give some impressions. It, it starts with a shot uh, of Michael Gambon as Dumbledore from, I think, uh, I think that the footage is from Goblet of Fire, but the line, or the fragment of a line uh, that is played over it is from Half-Blood Prince, and the fragment of a line is, uh, memory is everything, without it we leave the fate of our world to chance. That's what we hear Michael Gambon saying. But if you're a Harry Potter fan, and if you're watching this trailer, you're probably a Harry Potter fan. Uh, I don't know if Fantastic Beasts is getting is increasing, is getting people who weren't Harry Potter fans very interested, uh, then you have probably remember from Half-Blood Prince that the line he says is, this memory is everything without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance, and he's holding a specific memory because wizards can hold memories. Uh, and I just, I don't like it when any uh, movie or whatever does that. But in this case, it seems particularly disrespectful to the fans who would know that, who would be bothered by that. Like, it, hearing it without that, knowing that the context refers to a specific thing, but hearing it made to be a general statement, uh, just, it, it didn't set the right tone for me uh, to really appreciate the trailer as much as the trailer probably wants me to appreciate it, wants to get people excited, and all it made, all it did was make me annoyed. That it was like, what, did you think I wouldn't notice that you did that? Um, and, you know, it is always nice to see Michael Gambon as Dumbledore and to hear his voice as Dumbledore, but, and that's why they did it, probably. But um, it's almost like they, they want to, and then, and then of course it cuts to um, Jude Law as Dumbledore staring ahead pensively. And, of course, the uh, footage of, uh, Dumble of Michael Gambon's Dumbledore is he's staring into the pensive. So, from pensive to pensively. Uh, and, uh, you know, then get some footage of the castle, get a, uh, what seems to be a, a student in Quidditch robes chasing the snitch around the castle. I thought the snitch wasn't supposed to leave the Quidditch pitch, but maybe it's practice. Uh, we get, uh, young McGonagall and, uh, I don't know which young McGonagall it is, or if it's both young McGonagalls. Last in, last, in the last movie, I think there were two young McGonagalls, but one was younger. There was some confusion there. Uh, where's the movie about McGonagall? That's what I want to know. Uh, and then we get some shots of Grindelwald and his castle, his castle from two angles. We get some of Credence with his young phoenix. And then we get uh, uh, Newt approaching the castle at a kind of unveiling ceremony uh, at which 
Grindelwald says, uh, what he said in the last one, our war with the muggles begins today. Um, some other footage from the last one, him taking a memory from uh, Yusuf, I think is the wizard's name, and uh, Dumbledore defending himself from a falling building. Uh, so that is the entrance. But And now we find our way to... Uh, I'm getting the cast list up so that I can refer to people by their names. Um, then we get to uh, a little bit more of the story. The McGonagall was saying to Dumbledore, "There's essentially there's a, a thing that needs your attention." Um, and now we have uh, Jessica Williams as Yolaley Hicks going to Dan Fogler as Jacob Kowalski outside of his bakery. So that's that's interesting. He. Uh, even despite the events of the last movie, and I don't know how much this movie jumps in time, he went back to work at his bakery. He seems to want nothing to do with it. Uh, Eulalie Hicks, Jessica Williams, is chasing him, uh, trying to get his attention, saying, you need to be involved in this. And he goes into the bakery, he shuts the door, and then he's surprised that she's already in the bakery, um, and she's consuming one of his pastries, it seems. And he's surprised that he's in there, and she says, you, you do know I'm a witch, right? So that's that's the old Harry Potter. Uh, that's the writing... That's the kind of writing that 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 brings that emphasizes the joy in Harry Potter. Then we get a, a briefer uh, version of Newt's older brother uh, and his who wouldn't like our chances defeating the the evil wizard with this ragtag bunch, um, which I guess is kind of uh, the vibe that they're going for. So of course they would repeat it, but in a in a shorter thing. Uh, let's see. Um, and then we have, uh, some of, uh, well, it's more of Grindelwald's, uh, little ceremony, his fireworks with, with, I assume, his symbol, which is not the Deathly Hallows, um, which was supposed to be his symbol, but something else, something green, something more akin, perhaps, to, oh, it's two Gs, now I'm seeing it on his fancy car, or whatever that is, it's two Gs, Gellert Grindelwald. Oh, and then there's a... Uh, and then there's, oh, let me look at that. Uh, it looks like the Deathly Hallows symbol between the two Gs, and then the Elder Wand on top, which the Deathly Hallows symbol includes the Elder Wand, so then the Elder Wand, maybe there's two Elder Wands kind of going like this between the two Gs. Um, you can look at the trailer, there'll be a link to it in the description below. There are two, uh, shots of Dumbledore and Grindelwald, uh, talking to each other. I don't know where they are. But that should be interesting. Uh, that intrigues me. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the team, a couple of Avengers Assemble moments. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, they've got that, the room of requirement, the, uh, I assume it's some kind of a port key. It seems to be more than a port key, but I, it's pretty much a port key. Um, and, uh, Jacob getting, t giving, taking Dumbledore's hand and Dumbledore taking him through the porky or whatever. Uh, stuff from the other trailer. Now, okay, so here's a shot of Dumbledore apparently with the Deluminator, and he has subdued Credence. This is the other, uh, this is the, other than Grindelwald talking, which I love to hear Mads Mikkelsen's voice. I think it's great for Grindelwald. Um, and I think it's just great to listen to anyway. Uh, but, so, this is the other thing that intrigued me to the level of Grindelwald and Dumbledore talking, which is Dumbledore seems to have, in the past, in the other trailer, had him dueling Credence. He seems to have subdued Credence, and he seems to be using the Deluminator uh, to do something with the subdued Credence. And you will notice I haven't said much about Newt Scamander, and, uh, this, which is only notable because, you know, he's supposedly the lead in the uh, other two movies. Um... His parts of this trailer don't seem to be too uh, important, I guess, uh, looking. Um, but anyway, uh, oh, and there's also a shot of Dumbledore playing with a snitch, but, you know, snitches can have memory. They have the, the touch memory. They could be used to send messages. So I guess that's okay. It's, it, it all, it, like the uh, Quidditch student at the beginning, it kind of seemed like and the shot of Michael Gambon in the beginning, it kind of seems like, remember, this is Harry Potter. It, it's, 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 it's related to Harry Potter, so if you like Harry Potter... Um, 
but there aren't as many uh, fantastic beasts in this one. Uh, there's a there's a line. Um, just because we made it, something like just because we made a mistake doesn't mean we can't try to make it right. And I was I heard that line and I kind of grinned at it because it could be in reference to uh, the crimes of Grindelwald. Just because we made a mistake doesn't mean we can't try to make it right. It could also be in reference to several other things. Um, that I won't mention by name, but if you watched the trailer and you care enough about the trailer that you're watching my reaction to the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. I liked, uh, there's some more detail on the, what seemed to be uh, Newt's brother and Eulalie Hicks in a, in a wizard duel, and they seem to be attacking by making um, crystal balls uh, uh, fly at their, their, their pursuers. Um, and doing other interesting magical things. There also seems to be a duel between Dumbledore and Grindelwald, uh, and I thought that wasn't going to happen until the fifth movie, but and that they couldn't they couldn't directly challenge each other. Uh, but maybe there's a maybe this is the I broke that little that little charm that that we made. Uh, let's say we couldn't uh, attack each other, so I'm just letting you know we can attack each other, and I will be coming for you. Uh, I don't know when in the timeline this movie takes place. Um, more of Dumbledore and Credence. I, I have yet to memorize Credence's quote-unquote real name. Um, and there's the, the phoenix there, and uh, th then it ends on uh, the Jacob having a wand thing again. And this was another kind of like, so there's there's four parts of the trailer that I really liked. There's the two that intrigued me, the uh, Dumbledore having a conversation with Grindelwald somewhere and the Dumbledore having subdued Credence somehow and doing something with the Deluminator. And then there's the, the fun the fun parts, the Eulalie Hicks appearing in the bakery. You know I'm a witch, right? Uh, and so the, the trailer ends with uh, Dumbledore saying something like, uh, are you enjoying your wand, Jacob? And then it has some footage of Jacob in some fancy to do, and Queenie's there too, and he points it up in the air and uh, makes a storm or something happen. I didn't like that part, but after that, there's a shot of him and Dumbledore, and he's got the wand in his hand. He just, can I keep this? Which is better than the he can do magic with the wand. It's the he loves having a wand. It goes back to uh, that uh, shot that was in the trailer for Fantastic Beasts, but wasn't in the movie, where he says, "I want to be a wizard." And, but it also then goes back to what I said the last time, the last time I reacted to a Fantastic Beasts trailer, which is, he should be, he's a muggle, he should be used as a muggle, it, it should be important somehow to the plot that he is a muggle, that he doesn't have magic, that he doesn't use wands. So, sure, give him a wand, let him play with it, let him enjoy it, let him say, can I keep this, but then the, he can actually do magic however clumsily with it, that I don't enjoy. Um, that I think is the wrong direction, but again, I haven't seen the movie. Uh, I look, f still look forward to seeing the movie because I want to, I want to like the movie. Um, but uh, yeah, so there were some, there were some good lines uh, that I obviously didn't hear when I was just clicking through it. But Grindelwald says to Dumbledore, "I will burn down their world with or without you." It, it seems to be their conversation is going back to uh, the whole thing of when they first met, and they were going to get the Deathly Hallows, they were going to be masters of death, and they were going to. Uh, improve the world for the greater good, uh, or whatever it was. And so, um, but them meeting at this point in history, and I don't know when this point in history is, because the time jumps with these movies, I don't know, but uh, intriguing, but at the same time, is it retconning again? Uh, so I'm going to uh, leave it at that uh, for my thoughts. Uh, there will probably be more marketing coming up. I, you know, unless there's another trailer, I won't do another video like this, but, um, but, uh, I look forward to seeing that, learning more about it, and then ultimately seeing it, and maybe I'll even do a video once I've seen it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, today I posted chapter one of The Island of Dr. Moreau, and, uh, and I recorded chapters six and seven. Uh, so that's, that's the current thing, uh, Winnie the Pooh and Alice in Wonderland were earlier this year, and, uh, yeah, so what are your thoughts on the trailer? You can, uh, leave them in the comments below, uh, and, um, and you can also, again, 
my book. You can, if you read it, uh, you can put in the comments what you thought of it. So, uh, yes, uh, if you see the movie, enjoy the movie. Uh, if not, maybe come back and find out what I thought. Have a good day.